Hello, how are you doing? I hope you're doing really well. It is the final Wednesday of the month, so it is time for me to talk about my July favourites. How has July been for you? I hope you're having a lovely summer. I have had a lovely July. I can't complain. It's been a good month for me. A lot of life admin happens in July for me. It's quite an admin heavy month every year. So it's been a little busy, but as is always the case in my busy times, I have more headspace for doing more stuff. So I've also been reading more this month. I've started a new 3D model kit, which I have pushed out of shot to film this video. I've been running, I've been making progress with the piano. Very productive month. I wish I had this much headspace for doing stuff in the less busy times, but there you go. But anyway, I'm going to talk about some of my favourite things from July today, and I'm going to start with a TV show. The Great British Sewing Bee finished this month, series 10. Really great series, love the contestants. Uh, I really love the new host, Kyle Smith Bino as well. I really hope he stays for a few years at least. I really look forward to watching it. I always love Sewing Bee. I also watched a couple of great films this month. I watched the new Godzilla film, which I really enjoyed. I haven't seen many Godzilla films, I must admit. I'm not even sure if I've seen more than one before. But that was a really exciting and interesting film because it really focused in on the characters which I loved and my favourite film of the month was The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes which is the recent Hunger Games prequel film and I loved it I really want to read the book now you know I love bards and the main character was you know a bard pretty much now a web series I want to talk about Downfall which is the critical role miniseries which has been running for the last three weeks looking back at the fall of Aeor during the calamity great cast Brennan Lee Mulligan DMing again such a great miniseries it was nice to have something different for a while. I am looking forward to getting back to the main show, don't get me wrong, but it was nice to have something a little different for a bit. Now a live show, I went to the theatre this month and I saw Six the Musical. This is the touring production. I've not seen the show before, I've heard about it, uh, I've heard a couple of the songs. Really fun musical, I enjoyed it. It's a little different, you know, it's short, there's no interval. It's done like a little concert and the cast were great and their voices were amazing. And now a purchase, I am wearing a bracelet today. I tend not to wear much jewellery but I'm wearing this because I want to show it to you because it's my favourite purchase this month. I went to a craft fair and I got this sugar mouse bracelet. I had to. It's got mice on it. I'm not really a bracelet person, full stop, but I'm especially not a dangly bracelet person. So if it didn't have mice on it, there's no way I would own it, basically. But having said all of this, I really like the noise that it makes. Now, a couple of video games. Last month, I mentioned that I went to a gaming exhibition at the Science Museum called Power Up. There was a game in it that I loved called Taiko no Tatsujin, which is a rhythm game where you play a taiko drum. I ended up buying the game and the drum to own in real life because I loved it so much. So here is the drum. It attaches to the Nintendo Switch. It comes with two sticks. Basically in the game you either hit the drum in the middle or the side and then it's also got the um, general switch controls um, at the bottom so that you can navigate menus and stuff. So really happy. I got it second hand um, and the person said that it was hardly used and that was an accurate description. It was pretty much pristine when I got it, so I was so happy. And then I got two Taiko no Tatsujin games. I got Drum and Fun, which uh, is the game that came with the drum. You can buy them separately, but the deluxe edition of this game comes with the drum, and that's the one that I got. And Drum and Fun is discontinued now, but Rhythm Festival is like the current uh, taiko game. So I got that as well. Both work with the drum, but also they're really fun to play without the drum as well on a normal Switch controller, which I was happy about because um, this is a bit of a faff to set up, to be honest. So sometimes if I'm feeling a bit lazy, but I still want to play, I just play on the Switch handheld. But yeah, really fun game. I recommend Rhythm Festival more. To be honest, I probably wouldn't get Drum and Fun on its own, uh, only if it's the version with the drum. But yeah, definitely a game worth looking at if you like rhythm games. Rhythm Festival isn't super expensive, it's in about the 20 to 30 pound range. And if you want to like splash out for a drum as well, it is really fun, but you also don't need the drum. And now, finally, I want to finish this video by talking about some sport. Firstly, Wimbledon was this month, really enjoyed it. I didn't watch it non-stop for the entire two weeks like I used to back in the day, but I still really enjoyed the matches I saw, it was a good year. And now the Olympics is on, the opening ceremony was on Friday. I love watching the Olympics, I have taken time off work to watch the Olympics. I have taken out a monthly subscription to Discovery Plus so that I can watch as much as I like. Here in the UK it's available for free on the BBC, but if you want to watch, like, everything, you need Discovery Plus for that, which is a subscription. But they have a special deal, so it's only 3 99 for the month, which um, 
I thought was pretty great. So I've been watching it a lot. I love volleyball, so I've been watching that quite a lot. I don't really get to see much volleyball generally, apart from during the Olympics. We're not a big volleyball country, so I've been making the most of having access to volleyball. But I've also been enjoying the skateboarding and I've watched a bit of, you know, swimming and rowing. But the main uh, new sport to me, which I've started watching, is handball. I know that handball is not new to the Olympics, but... Um, until this year I'd never watched a full match before and I'd never really got it before because it's such a fast paced game that if you're just watching, you know, like 15 minutes in the middle of a match, um, I feel like you don't really get like the full handball experience. But the handball competition started a few days before the Olympics. So when I was working on Thursday and I wanted to watch something from the Olympics, handball was my only option. So I ended up having just handball on all the time. And I discovered that it's sort of really fun and exciting and there's sort of ebbs and flows and stuff in the match that um, I didn't appreciate before. So yeah, I've been enjoying the handball competition and I'm gonna watch as much as I can. I can't wait for the next couple of weeks. It's gonna be so great. And if you're an Olympics fan like me, I hope you're having a great time too. And let me know what sports you like to watch. There's probably other things that I've been missing out on, like I've been missing out on handball all these years. So let me know what you recommend. But anyway, that is the end of the video. Those are my favorite things from July. I'd love to know some of your favorite things from the month. Um, and if you have any thoughts on the things I've talked about today, I hope you have a fantastic start to August, whatever you're up to. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll be back soon with another. Probably the first thing will be, um, my YouTube live stream next Monday so hopefully see you then if you are around but until then let's move across to the end screen. If you'd like to see my latest video or some more favorites videos then you can do that below me here and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel or visit my website then you can do that beside me here uh, and if you'd like to visit my Patreon page which has free and paid memberships then um, you can do that in the description below. Take care, stay safe and well and I will see you very soon.